Hi guys, I'm Nagada Cho, and welcome to my reaction for Psychopaths Season 1 Episode 9. So, Makishima is interested in Kagame. And I don't really know if that is a good thing or bad thing, because Kagame is like trying to find him. He apparently is that person who was behind a case three years ago, I think. Where his partner died and where like all this whatever kind of weird shit happened, which we still don't have much details on it. And I guess because all of what happened, Kogami uh, became enforcer or potential criminal. So yeah, that, that must have been some really crazy thing happening. I mean, his partner got turned into weird kind of art so yeah and seems like Kagami is after Makishima for revenge so yeah that would probably make sense Makishima got rid of the girl and he has some kind of partners in crime we saw that other dude who is Chinese I don't really remember his name I think it sounded Chinese but not really sure and the other dude who killed the girl and has some kind of mechanical dogs and loves classical music so i don't know who these people are how long makishima is working with them and probably they are aware that makishima might get rid of them at some time but maybe they don't care so i'm interested in this episode and i should probably just start Already. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the name. Well, she is dead, probably. She is dead. Not probably. Okay, but Kogami thinks she is like, yeah. Okay, Ginoza wants to talk. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I I believe it is better because he's been looking for this person for so long. And at some point he probably thought, like, this might be impossible, but then this person is actually real and is here. So he's glad. And Ginoza realized that he was kind of wrong, that Kogami had a right to be trying to find this person. Also, I apologize for noises. I don't know what's happening up there. <clears throat> also, I apologize for my voice. Okay, I'm gonna skipping the going to skip the Oh that's too much. Okay, show me. Paradise fruit. Ah, uh, changing clothes like this. That's so cool. I mean it's not actual real clothes. I mean, she doesn't look bad, you know? Mm. <laughs> I can I am? Oh, oh, this is interesting. Hmm. 
holograms. Pretty cool. Oh my god, this thing is annoying. I could not live with something like this. That would be annoying as hell. How oh, about a kibernization? Mmm, interesting. He looks cracked. Oh my god, dude. Are you okay? It looks like he's on drugs. Okay, that explains things. Hmm, transhumanism. Hmm, I like that idea. It's really cool. Cyborgs, you know? I wish we were in that time. Cyber cybernetic bodies would be normal. And better. Aww. <laughs> yeah, she got interested, so. I mean, that's a long time. Hmm. Now, well, this is interesting. Yeah, that, that's probably true. Maybe it would not exist even. <laughs> She's very optimistic. I mean, there are a lot of perks with it. But damn, he looks disturbing. <laughs> I would not like to look like this. I mean, any kind of artificial thing He looks creepy. Probably. Yeah, that's a problem in modern eras. Hmm. That's true. People are very dependent on technology. People are extremely dependent on that. Like, without internet, electricity, it would be chaos. <laughs> Kinda. Transhumanism, I think, is one way how humanity can cross, go into the future. Or gain immortality. I mean, people are always scared of AI, but if humans became cyborgs, would it really mean anything?
Oh, there's good looks interesting. Hmm. Okay. So this is pretty nice place. Pretty old fashioned. Oh, I really like this building. It reminds me of one kind of building in my country. Hmm? What are you talking about? <laughs> Okay. Who are you, Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> huh. Damn. Damn, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. That's true. Though, it's not 100%. You would need to know the person. They always use this kind of thing in movies and shows, but it's not 100% like, you know, that great. <laughs> that effective. Mm, yeah, th that's interesting though, still. I mean, because the case. I like his plays. Hmm. Yeah, it's their personal interest. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he uses others. That's very dangerous. That's like super dangerous if you have someone like this. People naturally swing to this kind of charismatic people. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Supposed to be. Oh. So he just sneaked in. God damn. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the most smartest thing. So he's smart. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that that's not really much in this era and age. Well, you would need to go, I mean, yeah, in this era and age, going traditional is probably more annoying for them. They're probably not even used to it that much.
Ah, uh, please tell me more about it. Oh, yeah, there was probably some like time where those both things were happening at once. Ah, uh, concern. Oh, dangerous. That's so stupid. Hmm. Yeah. Like psychology, these kind of things about mentality, it's just quite difficult and you might learn some really interesting things and, well, yeah. Humans work interestingly. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about you. Well, I guess there is some cooperation. Oh, that, that's very lovely. Oh, is it that doctor or dude, um, uh, cyborg dude? Oh, yeah. Creepy, that's why he is so creepy, makes sense. He's just having fun with Makishima. Okay. Oh, these poor people. Ha <laughs> Okay, he's crazy. And found another crazy. Jeez. Oh, fuck. Okay, I don't like this. Yeah, but probably he's very clever to not to do that. Okay, now I'm worried. Yeah, he's... <laughs> That's actually kinda cute. Ginanasa is worried. I mean, she is new here. And she's kinda doing her things on her own. Yeah, he doesn't want that to happen. It probably happened to a lot of people around him. Especially Kogami. But Akana thinks completely different. Yeah, it's kinda dangerous, seems like. I like sh that she can stand up for herself. Damn, girl. Damn. I mean, I can understand why Ginoza is a little bit mad. Cool down, girl.
Jesus. He's worried. Ginoza is just... He doesn't want to happen... Anyone else to become light and criminal. I can understand that. Oh, well, that also makes sense. Why he's so pissy about this. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. He probably suffered a lot. I mean, you sure it doesn't happen now? Or maybe it doesn't happen that publicly. Hmm. 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 Damn. That completely makes sense. Yeah, he just doesn't want to happen it again. It must piss him so much. <laughs> you are irresponsible. Look what is happening. I hate it. Yeah, he just doesn't want that to happen. That's so actually sweet. He cares. He kind of cares. He's been through a lot. Yeah. You're a little bit selfish, I kind of. But I can understand she's going by her beliefs. Hmm. Yeah, he's sad. Uh, He is sad. Oh. Yeah, it seems like. Seems like. <laughs> Not creepy. Okay. This ending is so good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this episode seven and a half out of a ten, and things are slowly moving, moving to some crazy shit. I feel like. Okay, I'm glad that slowly, bit by bit, we are getting more about the characters, especially about Ginoza. Wow. Yeah, I have been through a lot. No wonder he's like that and that he hates idea that like Akane, another inspector working with him, might become enforcer, which happened to Kagami, so he just doesn't want to see people close to him or he w people which he works with becoming latent criminals because of his past and childhood. Yeah. Damn. That's probably why he's kind of distancing himself from the enforcers and why is he kind of called to them. He just don't want to be emotionally involved. Which, yeah, yeah, I got it. And Akane, I mean, Akane is kind of quite rebellious. Like, yeah, she's new here. She stands up for her, which is great. But she, like doesn't mind to do things on her own and to be with Kagami like uh, quite a lot with him. Well, she's very interested in this whole thing, in the case, in him, about what is happening and she is still new. But that might actually be dangerous. I understand why Ginoza is warning her so much. She is really like kinda disrupting things. Girl, 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 you never know. You never know if things wouldn't get wrong and like solar system might be like, well, fuck you, girl. You're a light and criminal now. Who knows, right? 
I mean, no, Akana is very optimistic, so maybe it's okay for her. You know, uh, different people react to things differently, so... Yeah, some people which... Some other people which would be in her position might actually, like, become latent criminals quickly. But she is not getting that, so... That might be the case. I hope we will get more about the other characters. Because we got the most about Ginoza, Akana and Kogami. But not much about the other enforcers. So I hope we'll get something about them, at least. Because we got like something about the old man with one cybernetic hand. But we didn't get much about the doctor chick or the ch other chick, enforcer chick, and that boy, kid, man, he looks quite young. So I hope we will get like more about them. I'm kind of interested in them. And I do really like the old man with the cybernetic hand. I forgot his name. I'm very sorry. He's very supportive. Like a lot of these people are quite supportive, but so far that man was very supportive for Akana, towards Akana. I'm really, really liking that. And when they visited that dude who is profiling, like, um, profiling, right, he said. Because he is noticing small nuances in the behavior of the people. And like I said, this technique is not, um, not that good in real life. It would probably be better if you would be trying to like understand person you know very well because you can notice small changes in their behavior or in their gesture, gest gestures and such because you know them very well. But I don't really think it works that well with someone you don't really know because like I said, different people react to things differently. So someone might be... I don't know, shifting their eyes when they're lying, but other people might not, you know? So, yeah, it, it's not really accurate. <laughs> D don't, <laughs> don't do this, it's not really accurate. <laughs> yeah. But it's brought a lot in, like, TV shows and movies and such. But, like, yeah, I understand it. it it's kind of, like, cliche. And it, it kind of looks cool, okay? I know it's not accurate, but I like it, but it looks cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's kind of cool. So that's about it. And also they talked about his... um, Some of his... Oh, what they were talking about? Presentations or something like that? That his students, like their hues, were getting bad, so... I'm wondering why, what is the cause? Psychology is kind of weird science, if you ask me. Yeah, it's really hard to grasp, but it's very fascinating. Extremely, extremely fascinating. And the dude, the cyborg dude. Wow, he... Uh, he was so creepy in that interview. Oh my god, dude. No. No, I would never interview someone like that. I would be like, well, thank you. Nope. <laughs> nope. You look hella creepy. Jesus Christ, of course he is creepy because he's psychopath. He seems to be a psychopath. Yeah. Not good. And Makishima is working with him. Jesus Christ, so they want to kill Kagami? Oh, but maybe someone else. He was talking about hunting someone, that he, he can wait for hunting someone. But then he said to Makishima that he don't mind to get Kagami dead, so he doesn't want to hunt Kagami? Who does he want to hunt? Don't tell me they want to kill someone from the team so Makishima can have fun with Kagami to frustrate him even more because he wants to toy with him. I don't really like this. I don't really like this. 
This is bad. Please don't 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 try to do something to Arcana because she's really nice and sweet and I like her. Yeah, I really like her. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.